Alright, what's up everyone? Let's get back to part two of my Blockbuster blowout pickup sales. Alright, next we have uh, Hellraiser. This is the uh, Anchor Bay collection. Uh, one of my favorite horror series next to Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, you know, they got worse as time went on, but this one is just fucking awesome. Some of the effects in it are so amazingly awesome and you know if you love horror movies you know check this one out everyone's seen this here on youtube that's part of the horror community but if you're not part of the horror community and you like horror movies just check this one out this is a no doubt you can get this cheap 10 bucks everywhere no, i paid a dollar still get it for 10 bucks all right Next we picked up uh, Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. This was a dollar. Not a big fan of the Harold and Kumar movies. I mean, I liked the first one, but I thought the second one was just, I didn't like it. But I picked it up, you know, for a dollar, I'm not going to be a bitch and just say no. I mean, I'll, I'll probably swap it or sell it or trade it for something I want. But for a dollar, I'll pick it up, put it in my collection and see what happens with it. But, you know, i got to give this one a rewatch. It's the unrated version, so we'll see what happens. But for a dollar, I'll give it another shot. Do I have the other ones? Oh, I haven't put the other ones in the case yet, but we'll get to them. Uh, next we have Mission Impossible 3. I got the other two here in the box. That's right below me. I'll show them to you later. This is the uh, Tudits collection. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good action movie, you know. Action's not my specialty when it comes to movies, I know, I'm more of a horror type person, but I'm going to pick this up for 99 cents, I enjoyed it for that. Alright, next we got uh, Semi-Pro, this is also the Tudis Collector's Edition, um, this is another movie, I, I liked it, I thought it was okay, I have you thought it wasn't Will Ferrell's best movie, you know, I thought Step Brothers was a lot more funnier than this, but for a dollar for a two disc set Blu-ray has the unrated uh, movie on it. I, I'll, I'll give this one another watch. I haven't seen it since it was out in theaters, but for a dollar, you know, we'd be watching these fucking movies for years. You know, I'm never gonna be able to watch all these. Uh, next picked up Up in the Air. Um, I think this one's starting to get a little bit more harder and harder to find. This is what I, I've read on the internet. Um, I enjoyed this. So my opinion of the best picture quality material? No. I didn't think it should have got all the hype that it did. But, you know, that doesn't mean it's a bad movie. I, I still really enjoy this one. And this is another no-brainer. 99 cents. Pick this one up. This is another one I was happy with, and that's Star Trek. I saw this on IMAX when it first came out, and I, I haven't watched it since. Definitely gonna have to give this one a rewatch again. I really like this one. I thought the effects were really good. And this is this, this one with the feature film and the special features. I don't know what happened to this too. That must have been the digital copy, knowing Blockbuster is. It's kind of stupid. I've heard they destroy a lot of movies, which is kind of sad. I wish they would just give them to me, so I would take them for nothing. But, um, you know, definitely check this one out. You know, most Star Trek fans have seen this one, but I, I enjoyed it. This was my favorite deal of the day. My best deal, I think. I was really happy. I, I, I was surprised I found this since this is a fairly new flick. That's a. Uh, True Grit with John Wayne. You know, this was in a box in the back. The lady's like, come on, I'll show you what's in the back box. This was in there, and I was like, holy shit, I'll t fucking take this one. And I was really happy to finally have this in my collection with the remake coming out, which I enjoyed, not as good as the original. But for 99 cents? Come on, 99 cents for freaking True Grit on Blu-ray. That's a no doubter. So happy to get this one, finally, in my collection. This is another one I've been wanting to get since launch day. Never been able to get it. That's District 9. You know, it's starting to come lower and lower in price. But finally, 99 cents. Could not pass this one up. 
definitely one of my favorite movies in the last come out three years ago. Probably three years ago. So probably my definitely my top five for the last five years. So this is an awesome movie. The effects in this movie are so good for just being Robotronics. I mean, if you're a fan of sci-fi, you, you, you've got to check this one out. It's just so amazingly awesome. Alright, now we're just going to get to the ones in the Best Buy Blu-ray cases till I can get the other cases to put the other ones in. I just had a little bit of time right now, so I thought I'd just come out and show you guys my mega haul. So, uh, first I picked up, uh, Away We Go. Um, I just picked this one up. The Sublime Buy. thought the covers looked pretty sweet, and Jeff Daniels is in it. So, I really don't know about this one. It, was, it seems like a drama slash comedy type movie, and I thought the cover looked interesting. And it's released by Universal to do these generic, plan, ugly fucking discs, but, you know, life will go on. And for 99 cents, why the hell not? Alright, next picked up uh, World's Greatest Dad. You know, I've been wanting to watch this one for a while as well, just never got to it. And um, for 99 cents, I thought I'd definitely pick this one up. Next we have uh, the Budok Saints Part 2, um, again, 99 cents, not as good as the original movie, but I, I, I'll pick it up for 99 cents. Now this is one I've been wanting for a long time, I remember seeing it on demand, I just pulled it out of the blockbuster, I was like, fuck, I remember this movie, I've been wanting to watch this for a while, I never got to it, and that's uh, The Killer Inside Me, it's with Casey Affleck, Jennifer Elba, and Kate Hudson. Uh, it's a IFC Films movie. He always releases fucking awesome movies, and I just I've been wanting to watch this movie for so long, and I finally was able to get it for one dollar, one fucking dollar. So awesome. Ugh. This house is so awesome. Ugh. All right, finally in this part we have Zombie Land. Um, hilariously awesome movie. It's over the top fun. Um, definitely check this one out. Alright, that's everything in part two. Um, just gonna take a break now, and I'll come back tomorrow when I have a little bit more free time and show you the other, you know, I have about 30 more movies in this box here to show you. But right now I'm just gonna have to go uh, study for finals. I have finals this week, my last day is Friday. So I'll be out hunting more for more movies. I, I gotta take a little break, I've been spending too much money on this shit, but for now, um, I'll come back tomorrow, get out a little bit of school about 11.45, so I'll come on home, finish this stuff up. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.